before this video starts, I just want to say that I have a Discord server for all the elf fans and everyone to join. Link is in bio and let's get started. Now as you guys might know or may not know, I am actually kind of good at making custom trees. So what I am doing here is I am going to start to build some up so we kind of get a rough idea of what we kind of want with them. And so far, I think we want thicker trunks as opposed to thinner ones when it comes to the custom tree. So I think that like something like this would do the trick here. And yeah, basically after that, I just kind of build it up a bit and then I proceed to branch off from the original tree kind of outwards. And I remove some of the blocks because I don't want it to look too, um, you know, lumpy. It's, it's branches after all, they're very thin. They're not supposed to look too much of one thing. And yeah, then I just chip off some of the logs, kind of like this, and s take a step back and see how it looks. Then kind of like tweak it from there. And <laughs> it's basically how I build custom trees in general. Not only do I like to add um, just basic blocks at the bottom, I'd also like to add a bit of variety to it. So I did add some like spruce fences to make the log look more like a log, perhaps. And I'm gonna do the same for when we go up here to the top of the tree to um, make the branches like go out a bit more but have it have thinner edges if that makes sense now comes the hardest part of this build which is actually putting in the leaves and making it look good now what i want to do is kind of make it like a willow tree where it kind of just like has vines going down from it and make it look pretty and i think from like flowering oak leaves to spruce leaves we can make like kind of a gradient I, i'm not sure how we're gonna do this but we'll we'll figure it out I think I am pretty happy with this result right here. I think this is a perfect example of what I wanted to go for when it came to a little custom tree for the enchanted forest look. Now the only thing that's missing is a bit of lighting, which I don't know how I'm gonna light this up to be honest. I'll, I'll have to look at some light sources that are in Minecraft and kind of just think Hmm, which one would be best for this tree? But for now, I think I am happy with this one and I'm gonna make a couple of more as well as lighting them so you guys can kind of see how it will feel as an atmosphere. We have required all the materials we need to get dyed white icicle lights, which I am very excited for. Let's see what they look like. Oh, they give four, That's that's even better. Now I, I need to put these on the tree, see what they will look like. You know, they kind of look like flowers dangling down from the tree. I think I like that. Just, it just, you need to be strategic with where you kind of place them though. Because I feel like it looked better on the inner side, but I also want some on the outside as well. Like here, for example. No, here. I think I like it a lot and I think that's gonna be one of our main light sources we use for these trees just kind of dangle them down where I think looks best for the for the tree but yeah I want to know your guys's thoughts on the in the comments about these majestical beautiful trees
Okay, um, I might have done a, a bit more than a couple of trees, but if we look around here, it's not much I did, actually. It's more, um, the trees than anything. But as you can see, with a few trees down, you kind of get the idea of what the Enchanted Forest will look like when it's finished. And as you can see here, I removed some of the bushes so I get more access to, like, the peninsulas of my base. The many peninsulas of my base. But... Generally, I want this area to be as nice as possible, and I think I'm doing a good job so far. I'm trying to make the trees different heights as well, and I added like these little fairy lights dangling down from them because I think they look good, and yeah. As you can see here as well, I used the roses from the Valentine's Day event that I got as a prize. Because I think they blend in really well with the color palette of the trees. Also, if you didn't notice already, I added some dangling lights. Some are yellow, I believe, as you can see here. They're kind of just hanging off the tree because I thought they'd look really cool in the trees. And it's also a good way to light up the base if it's just going to be an enchanted forest down here. Because how else am I supposed to light it up? But anyways, next thing is to move this stuff so we can continue our enchanted forest and... The problem is my inventory is full, and I don't- oh, we have plenty of chest space. Never mind. Um, but, yeah, we're gonna do the tedious task of moving these things, so I'll do that off camera for you guys because this is gonna be frustrating. And before you ask, yes, this is how I work. This is how my brain processes with storage. This is how I store things. So get used to it. I'm never gonna use a storage system. As I start building more trees, I'm also starting to realize I just don't like this gravel here. So I think I'm gonna go around removing all of this gravel and replacing it with sand or dirt, as I please. And I think that way it will just look a lot more cleaner than having a lot of gravel around. Because I, I, just, I just don't think gravel will mix unless we're doing a rock sort of formation. Which we're gonna do on some parts, but I don't want them on all parts, so yeah. Also, I'm thinking of planning of making this a bit deeper and having some seaweed at the bottom. And as you can see, I put down some like water lilies I found in the wild and some lily pads just because I felt it fit. This is kind of the sort of concept I'm going for for the lake. And I, I want more of these as well to place around the edges of this area because I think it would make it tie in a bit more better. As you can see, I replaced it all and it looks much, much better with the sand than it does with the gravel. I'm not gonna lie about it either. I just realized my flower crown wasn't on. I can't even use my abilities. Alright, I have got all the materials needed in order to make this pond a beautiful place. And I apologize for not having the resource back on before. But... I got a couple more lily pads here, cause why not? The more lily pads, the more nice it looks, I guess. I was thinking of just scattering them like all around the island, sort of. But honestly, it's not gonna be seen all over the island. I just think in this little area, it would be nice to have them. But yeah, uh, I, I'll put more in the future, probably. I don't think it's as important as the actual lake itself. But what I'm gonna do here is just put down like some chunks of bone meal every so often. So it looks like it has a bit more variety to it. And as you can see, it looks a lot better already. And of course I got some other things like water lilies. I still have no idea how to place these. But I think three of them like that is just fine. I don't really want any more. And I have these for like the edge of the river. Um, I can place them, like, on the grassy parts, because I think it looks better that way, but I think around the lake this would be a good idea to just place some every now and then. I do think it looks nice, it does add a bit of detail, but as you can see, like, the lake is already starting to improve just by these small details that we're adding. I don't know if I can place these, I'm pretty sure you can only place them on dirt. But do I want to get rid of this for dirt? That's the, that's the real question. I think in a couple spots it will be fine, just not everywhere. Also, I, I 
I, I don't know how to. How, how, what? I thought you had to, um. Okay, well, look. I have no idea what I'm doing. I think you need to have it on the surface layer. Perhaps. Maybe that's not. That's why it's not being placed. Or you just can't place these. Oh, okay. It does need to be on the surface layer. But having a couple of these around would be nice. Especially, like, kind of grouped up together. So let's kind of have three along this side, like so. Kind of just have it there. And then have some here as well. Along this side of the water. Maybe around these parts. Let's put it, like, right here. Oh, I can't place it here. I can just get rid of that. And I think... I think that makes the lake look not a lot, uh, well, the river, look a lot nicer than I intentionally wanted it to be, which I think is a good thing, but it's just little details to make things look better. But yeah, um, that's the river finished, so that's that's good news. And now we can, uh, I, I really don't want to go back to the trees, but that's all we really have left to do. But we could do some greenery for now, and yeah, you you'll see me once I finish the whole forest, and I'll just kind of go over like what I did for the greenery. Anyway, now that that chaos is over, I can kind of go over what I did as well. As you can see, I have different variants of grass as well mixed in, like I have clovers and stuff, and I stole these from the Twilight Forest, as well as some fireflies I put around the trees. And as you can see, I hanged some as well off the trees and for the trees I already showed how to did the, do them so I'm just adding in like the final lighting that we want for them in here oh I keep forgetting this is here <laughs> anyways um as you can see I just basically spam flowers bone meal ferns all these mushrooms and stuff around and I tried to make it look good and it does look good so this is all the enchanted forest is. I tried to add things that were more practical, like cabbage and stuff, just around the forest, just because um, we kind of need it for more practical reasons, but I would, otherwise I would um, not want this, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, I have a self-automated mushroom farm too. Um, I, I don't think I'll need that either, but... <laughs> Um, I, I'm a bit concerned for the amount of mushrooms I have. I don't think I should have this many. Um. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But anyways. Um, moving on. As you can see in the lake, I kind of showed how to do this already. But I did add some of these because I found them. And I adored them so much. And I added these yellow things because they go in the water. And I think it just added a bit more. And I don't know, I think you guys saw this at one point in the video, but if we go here, as you can see, I kind of added like a seating area with the Valentine's Day candle from the event to just kind of look. And also, as you guys also know, I probably, I don't know if I showed this actually, but down here is a little bench that you can just look over at the view with. It's not, it's not a very pleasant view, but we're going to pretend it is. <laughs> Anyways, we're finally done the Enchanted Forest. And just like that, 50% done our base. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.